name is Samantha Hammond and I'm a destination wedding and honeymoon specialist. Welcome back to my channel. So it's been about a month um, since I uploaded a video and that's because I've been traveling a lot. Um, one of my friends just got a job at Apple and moved to San Francisco. So I went to visit her last month and um, had an amazing time. It was my first time in San Francisco. So I was there for a couple of days. And after that, I went to El Cielo Winery in Mexico for um, the Female Leaders in Travel Conclave. That resort is amazing. So for anyone who is a wine lover, if you've been to, you know, Tuscany or just any wine country and you love wine, like really, really good wine, definitely take a look at Mexico. I know, I know that's not usually the place that people think about when you're thinking about wine, but Mexico has an entire wine country and El Cielo is an amazing, amazing hotel that is on a vineyard. I can't remember if I uploaded the room tour yet, but if I didn't, I'm going to upload it shortly so that way you guys can see how beautiful that hotel is. And I'm also, I also did a vlog. So I have all of this footage from both San Francisco and El Cielo, and I, I think I need to upload those as well. But um, besides that, last month I also went to the Black Travel Summit in Miami and I literally have not been in my office in over a month. I have been working because last month we had about five weddings. Well, it's actually July now, technically. So in May we had about five weddings and um, last month, June, we had a few groups traveling. So. Even though I wasn't in the office, I was still taking consultation calls. I was still working nonstop. And that's why I haven't had a chance to actually upload a video. And you guys have to admit, if you've been following me for a while, I've been very good <laughs> at uploading and staying consistent. So I just wanted to let you guys know what was happening and that I didn't fall off because I am notorious for that here on YouTube. I will like do one video in the past. I would do like one video every like six months. I wanna be more consistent, um, but this last, I wanna say six weeks have been just a lot. And I'm home now, and by home I mean I'm in New York for the next month, and then August is going to be insane as well. I am doing um, a friends and family trip for uh, my agents here at my agency. So if you guys don't know, not only am I a destination wedding specialist, I am also a host agent. Um, and that means I host other travel agents. I train them. I help run their businesses. And we currently have a little bit over 70 travel agents um, throughout the US. So I'm busy <laughs> and I have a 16 month old. So it's crazy. Who's actually in the office today? Never bring your, your toddler to work because today was not <laughs> the best day. <laughs> so if you guys hear some screaming in the background, that's her just like ripping apart my office. But um, yes, it's been a lot happening, um, but you know, it's great things that are happening. Um, in August next month, I will be traveling a lot as well. Um, like I said, friends and family, and then I am going on a river cruise. I'm taking my husband on a river cruise for his birthday, and then we're meeting some friends in Amsterdam. So they're, they're actually meeting us in Amsterdam. So I am going to try to shoot as much content as possible in July, so that way, again, I don't have like this month-long um, situation where I'm not up uploading or updating my page. So that's what's been happening. That's my life update. Um, I also want to take this time out to give you guys a little bit of tips. So all of the videos that I do here on YouTube is usually centered around, well, the videos here in, in the office are usually centered around like questions that I get on a daily or situations that, you know, happen for our clients when we're doing a destination wedding. So I always feel like, you know, these are information that 
people may be interested in. So one of the things that happened, it doesn't happen a lot, but it happened to one of our brides recently, our client recently, and something I just want to touch on, which I guess can be a delicate topic for some people who are not as outspoken, right? So we are currently dealing with a situation where um, we have a client who has a group contract. Her friends and family are not booking in her contract. They're booking the hotel directly. They're booking at different hotels and it's adding so much stress to our client's life. And we've actually had this happen before. Um, not a lot, but it, it has happened in the past before where, you know, some of our clients are like, I don't know what's going on. You know, no one wants to book in my contract or you know it it just becomes this big stressful things because if you're doing a room contract and if you watch um i think i do have a previous video on that there are certain requirements um to do a group contract when you're doing a destination wedding so the pros is that um some of the pros are i should say um you're going to get the lowest price possible um but even better for the bride and groom, you're getting a lot of perks. So the perks can be depending on the hotel, you can have free nights, complimentary upgrade, you can get a free reception, free private events, just so much stuff, again, depending on the hotel, um, that it really is a benefit for the bride and groom. And a lot of times, obviously, your friends and family don't know that there are all of these benefits that you can be getting that is helping pay for your destination wedding. And honestly, sometimes they don't really need to know. Um, but one of the things that we tell our clients is it's your wedding, right? It's your wedding. Just like how you would tell someone I had an all white wedding, like we're doing an all white wedding. You have to wear white or you know this is the itinerary for itinerary yeah i guess itinerary for the week um or the schedule for the week or the schedule for the day the same way you would tell your guests your friends and family that is the same way you can tell them hey you know we have a contract with the hotel you have to book through it or book into it that is really all you have to do and you have to do it in the beginning because What's going to happen is your friends and family are going to think that, okay, well, you know what? Um, maybe this pricing is a little too expensive or, you know, I'm going to try to find like a, a cheaper hotel, not knowing that, you know, if, at an all inclusive, at an all inclusive, if you are not staying on property, you have to pay every time you, you come on. And a lot of times too, the bride, um, and groom has to pay for guests who are not attending, um, who are attending their wedding but are not staying there. So your guests won't know that, oh, you know what, I booked, you know, this is happening at the Hard Rock and I booked the Royalton. Travel all that way and they can't attend your wedding. So now that's an issue. Or more importantly, which is what we're dealing with now, is you're holding 30 rooms and no one's booking it. You have a contract with the hotel that says, hey, you know what, I, I need 30 rooms, I'm going to fill these 30 rooms. But if you don't do that, and depending on the timeline, how close it is to your wedding, you're going to be in penalty. And you are responsible for that. You're responsible for either all of the rooms, a portion of the rooms, paying for one night for all the rooms. There are so much, many things that you could be in penalty for if you're not filling all of these rooms or if you're not releasing them in time. So that is a big issue um, that can happen if you don't really let your guests know in advance, like, hey, this is the, if you're planning on coming to my wedding, this is the way that you have to book your room. You have to let people know that in advance because if you don't, your family, and it's always family, family is the hardest part of destination weddings on a lot of ends. So your family, they can, they can really stress you out and they can run amok. They can say, you know, oh, well, yes, which we've had where people are like, well, yes, the prices are cheaper, but you know, I could pay when I get there. 
at the hotel. So I don't, I don't want to book into your group because instead of doing a deposit or a final payment, I could just pay for the room when I get there and the hotel is holding it. Or we have some people that we had a wedding last year where everybody was finding cheaper rates. And I'm, I'm telling my client, absolutely not. They're not because a group contract is the cheapest way that, um, I should say the, mo the most affordable way that, um, your guests can travel. So I ended up getting on a call with some of the guests come to find out they were booking the wrong hotel, completely different hotel. So we've had that happen. We've had um, people who say, well, you know, I found the same price roughly. Um, and they're not taking into consideration that all of our rates here at Just Adventures includes transportation. So it's an hour away from the hotel to the airport where we're providing in that quote also transportation. So, you know, it's a lot of like, misunderstanding and just again people don't know so they're like always looking for like ways to oh this may be a better option for me so it is your job you know as a destination wedding bride if you're working with a destination wedding um, specialist or a wedding planner or a travel agent definitely have your guests use those people that you hire and it's going to cause you so much stress if you don't, you know, and that's what we're currently dealing with now. <laughs> that's what we're currently dealing with now um, with one of our clients. So, you know, I try to tell everyone, like, listen, if you're gonna do a group contract or if you have a specific way that you want, um, you know, your guests to book, let them know in the beginning. And if you have a, a wedding planner, a specialist, let them know any questions that they have or anything that comes up, they should be contacting your specialist, right? So again, you don't have to explain to people like, oh, well, I need everyone because I have a contract and it's binding and, you know, or I'm get my wedding for free. So I need you guys to, you don't really have to explain it's your wedding right? So you could just tell people like, Hey, if you are planning on coming to my wedding, this is the way you have to book. That's it. And by doing that again, you're just going to save yourself a lot of headache by kind of, we are just adventures. We always tell our, our clients, Hey, if anyone has any questions travel related, don't answer it. Like you should not be worried about, you know, answering your aunt's question about pricing or what's the difference between this hotel or that hotel or you know if you do have some guests who are price sensitive you could always say hey contact my travel agent contact my wedding specialist and see what are some of the options that they can um, give to you because if the hotel has a sister property that you may not know of that could be an option so again if you hire anyone or if you have again wedding planners at the hotel these are people including myself that our job is to take some of that burden off of you and to, just to make the process as easy as possible so i never tell everyone anyone that you know this is a stress-free process because it's not it's a wedding but it definitely is 80 percent less stressful than a traditional wedding and a lot of the the things that we see on the difficult side for our clients usually is it's family <laughs> so again we always tell everyone up front just let them know how they have to book and if they have any questions send them to us and we will give them their options or we'll tell them you know no you, you can't book in that hotel because if you're going to stay in another hotel you can't come for the reception not the reception, but like if there's a welcome party or if there's like a rehearsal dinner, you have to pay $150 or $120 or whatever the pricing is every single time per person you're trying to get on, um, on property. So let your wedding specialists deal with those questions. And I questions, and I promise you the headache of, you know, and I promise you that you're going to save yourself a lot of headaches. And again, that is something that we're currently dealing with on our end. And we've had that issue before where people are just like, I don't know why my family are not booking into our group. And I'm like, it's your wedding. You could tell people that if they want to come to your wedding, 
that's the way they have to do it. Speak to my travel agent, speak to my wedding planner or, or whoever is assisting you. Or if you're doing it yourself, which I do not recommend doing a group contract yourself, don't do it because you have to make all the changes. Like a lot of people don't know how that work. Don't do it. I promise you. Um, you know, just let them know like, Hey, you can't do it. If you want to come, this is the only way that you can come. Um, so yes, so we're dealing with that now. And you know, on our end, we always try to advocate for our clients with the hotels. We're trying to now get out of some penalties and, and just work it out for her. But her wedding is in like two months. So it's, it's a lot. And I don't ever want to see anyone in that situation where they're stressed out because their families, because I, I don't think that it's a big thing for you to be stressed out about like for your, because your family are not doing what they're, you know, supposed to do. Um, and they're kind of putting you in a bind, right? So, but you have all these people going just not under your group and they're paying more. So it, it's a confusing um, situation, but I think it is a situation where you kind of like, just let your friends and family do whatever. Um, or that is what happened, you have to always kind of reel them in. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.